Yellow Gamer Noms back. And in this video, we're going to unlock the newest weapon, Shark Anchor, and we are going to showcase a Max Master 600 Shark Anchor in update 20 of Blocks Roots. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Hi guys, are you ready to unlock the new sword Shark Anchor in update 20 of Blossom Fruits? If you want a step-by-step -step full guide, here it is. So first off, let's head to the new island, the Tiki Outpost. So guys, we're using Portal Fruit and no, we are not going to use this one in order to unlock the sword. Anyways, this NPC is really important in unlocking the new fight style, so make sure to no take note of him. For now, let's focus on the sword that video is for tomorrow. Okay. So guys, here you go. At the starting uh, set home NPC, there you go. Shout out to my rock brother, Joy Boy, Harin the Maparata. Uh, there's an NPC, just turn to your left, and there's an entrance here, and you will find the Shark Hunter, okay? So when you click him, craft, there are three items here, Tooth Necklace, Tear Jaw, and the Lock One. So once you unlock the necklace and the jaw, you will be unlocking this third item. But first, let's focus on the necklace and the jaw. Okay, there are your requirements. This one, these two, I mean. So what are these materials? So first one is the mutant tooth and the shark tooth. Okay, so just to excite things up, here is the necklace. And let's check the stats, okay? For this necklace, it will increase your run by 50% plus 10 dash plus 25% damage to see events. Guys, this one's really good. I'm telling you, this is a lot better compared to the jaw. Okay, if you're gonna ask me, the other accessory, but yeah, it's for you to decide, but for me, this one's good. Basing on my own build. So here are the requirements. Moving on, our next accessory, we got the Terror Jaw, right? This one requires more materials, there you go, you have four. So, first the Tooth, and there you go, Terror Eyes, legendary material, as well as the Fool's Gold, an uncommon material. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you everything later where we can get those items or materials. But let's check the stats first. So Gamer Nom, is it okay if I don't unlock this uh, equipment or accessories? No guys, <laughs> you need those in order to get the sword. Okay, so well, sir, please show us. There you go. 10% more damage on sword attacks, 10% cooldown reduction, and 20% defense on sea events, plus 200 energy and health. So guys, if you want this, there you go. Terror Joe. Now we are done with the requirements. So, before we get those materials, what fruit and race did I use during this expedition? Let me show you guys. First, for the race, okay, let's head to the Turtle Mansion first. Okay, for the race, guys, uh, I think for me, the best one that worked was the Shark Race. Guys, I'm not telling you to use uh, this race, but for me, guys, this is the best. Why Gamer Nom? Maybe because we're doing sea events. And there is a very high chance that you will get pushed underwater or in the water and we are using fruits, right? Again, okay, there you go, finally. Also, this will really help you when you've awakened your race. But if you haven't, then uh, it's fine. For the fruit, guys, I'm gonna use the magma fruit. Why, guys? For the damage, okay? So now we are tanky because of uh, the race, V4, shark, and we have damage, okay? Okay, so guys... Next up, you need a ship that has high HP. Okay, high HP is better, but that will be questionable later. Okay, I will tell you why. So guys, get a boat. I suggest you start on the other side. Uh, this is my first time trying it, so yeah. Guys, uh, you can choose the lantern or the other one if you want, but I prefer this one. This looks better for me, guys, just for me, okay? But as long as the a ship has 2,500 HP, then everything will be good, okay? So now let's head to the sea and get those materials. One more thing guys, check your compass on the left side, right? As you can see, if you read it, it's still none, but there you go, the meter is rising, right? So there are six areas in this update or sea levels. So guys, once you fill the first meter, it will turn into one and that is low, but you will now get attacked by random enemies. So the higher, the more enemies that you attack you. So see that, guys? So I think that's a shark. So guys, this shark can... I don't know if it can damage your, uh, what do you call it, your ship. But we're gonna defeat it. Yeah, yeah, I think there's a damage already. So we're gonna defeat this one. 
So it really depends on you. Again, if you're using shark, no damage in water, which is really good. There you go. So for my stats, I have of melee defense and block sports only. Did you see that our first item is shark tooth? So guys, it's very easy to get this materials. Also guys, this is another enemy here. I think it's the piranhas. Just a reminder guys, this will drop, I think, the wing. So that wing is not yet needed. But if you can de start defeating these mobs, there you go, electric wing. If you can start defeating these mobs, not bad, right? So you can already grind more for other materials. Spoiler alert, you will be needing this one too. <laughs> Anyways, electric wing. So guys, moving on, if you're having problems leveling up here, don't worry. While having your expedition, there are sea beasts here. If you are in a hurry, you can skip them. Or if you want level, guys, go for them and money. It's also a good way to fill up your awakening meter, right? Instant kill is instant level up. Okay, so next up, Gamer Nom. Uh, how about the fool's gold material, guys? Don't worry, once you're uh, in the sea, especially the higher the level, as you can see, we're in level 3. We're in the rough seas check that out guys if you see a random ship guys just kill it okay just destroy it remember the sea event uh the ship raids yes it's also here and yes they have the material that we want they have the fool's gold so guys defeat them gamer nom do they give you fragments yes as you can see 25 guys this is just level three once you reach level five or six especially level six good luck on those ships i think i i uh, experienced like 12 ships attacking simultaneously and i don't like that oh and guys just a reminder if you defeated a, a ship and you didn't get a material just check your items check it out guys already have three right nothing have appeared on the notifications on the top and there you go we have fool's gold gamer yeah, how about the other materials the mutant tooth and the terror eyes Guys, you will all get those from defeating Terror Sharks. So again, uh, this one uh, spawns at... Actually, I've tried defeating one at level 2. I don't know why, that's just... I think it's Chamba. <laughs> but if you want to fight them, you can fight them at level 5 and level 6. And here is a tip. If you don't have someone with you... Uh, yeah, I have my brother with me. We're fighting lots of enemies. As you can see, he is uh, in the air. I don't know if they call this one air camping, but there you go. He just lured the terror sharks there and I am free to attack. Notice that the terror sharks are not attacking me. As you can see, there you go. This is, this is a good technique so that we won't get damage. There you go. Uh, guys, I don't have stats on the sword. So again, someone will lure and jump high and the other one will attack. Just make sure that the other one already has damaged the terror sharks so they will also get a loot. There you go, guys. Very easy, right? Gamer Nom, can you do this one solo? Yes, guys, I think that is possible. You can do air camp using your magma fruit. But you should first get used to your skills. Because sometimes these terror sharks can reach you. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm just noob. Anyways, there you go. Very easy, right? And when they're when you think you can burst them, yeah, just go attack them, right? By the way, for the drop, um, I think the mutant tooth is 100% or a high chance but the other one the terror eye is not 100% so yeah it's kind of annoying sometimes it's not easy see that guys I didn't get the terror eyes anyways once you get all the materials let's head to the NPC and let's buy the items guys it took me 20 levels okay so which means I, I fought a lot of sea beasts etc there you go guys we have 51 of the other material and we have three let's craft the shark tooth necklace first okay I will just remind you that if you're going for a magma build again with this events, I, I suggest you use the necklace because this increases your dash if you want to go away from your enemy. Guys, given that you have someone that has Buddha fruit, okay? So this is the other one, the Terra Jaw. We are about to unlock both now. There you go. And then after that, finally, the locked one is the magnet monster or monster magnet. So guys, here are the requirements. We are lacking one more Terra Eye. So let's fast forward to that. There you go. So, so far guys, I was able to unlock the magnet, uh, what do you call this? The final item, the magnet monster, with just the help of my brother. So we're, we're farming terror sharks the whole time. So there you go, we got the terror eyes, plus an additional mutant tooth. Now let's head back 
to the NPC and craft this monster magnet. Not magnet monster, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. Anyways, that's it. We have the item needed in order to summon, again, summon another terror shark. Yes, guys. In order to get the anchor, you need to defeat another terror shark. Okay? But first, you need this one and you need to head, I think, level 6 or 5. Just to be sure. There you go. So, guys, I have me and my new friends so i will be shouting out them later most of them are new there you go monster magnet is as attracted an irregular beast why is it irregular guys check the hp usual terror shark will have 150,000 hp right so this is one is irregular why because it carries the weapon that we've been looking for so guys uh oh i have some questions for everyone who's watching again uh sorry in advance guys uh, if you don't have the magnet can you still get the uh, what do you call this the anchor that's one what if my friend here is trying to defeat this one but doesn't have the anchor can he still get it number two is it hundred percent for those who has anchor okay also for example me and my brother has a magnet and we summoned an irregular terror shark will both our magnets disappear Again, guys, please comment it on the comment section so we can help other players. Also me, even though I have, I will be having the anchor here. Okay, so far so good. Half HP. Also, guys, uh, make sure to communicate with other players. If someone of your teammates or your allies uh, feels like they haven't damaged it yet, please, guys, uh, I don't know, if you have a voice chat or something like that, make sure to communicate because... It's kind of sad that some of the other players won't be getting the weapon, right? Even if you get it. There you go. Okay. Oh, I'm not hitting it, guys. See that? <laughs> also, that's why I'm using... What do you call this? The Pale Scarf. So that I will always uh, have an extra dodge or... I will always see my allies even though they're far away. Just in case I die. Oh, there you go, guys. We got the shark anchor. Yes. And as promised, here are my new friends. For for those who would be shouted out, guys, you will be included on the Levi Leviathan, sorry, Leviathan Expedition video wherein we will be unlocking the new fight side, okay? So here, as promised, those uh, new friends that I had during this expedition of getting the shark anchor, shout out to these guys. Okay, Saitama. Dark underscore Ashura, I show spam, Tom, Ganda underscore si Jenna, guys, crash nyo to guys, si Jenna, and then Joy Boy and Riz. Okay, so that's it. Next up, we're gonna showcase the Master 600 Shark Anchor. Okay, so first up, let's talk about the M1. So, guys, if you're gonna grind the AFK, grind this one. I don't suggest it because check this out. One, two, it has four clicks for a full combo. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it launches forward, which is not good if you're gonna AFK. But guys, you can, what you can do is, for your fourth click, you can increase the duration, the time, yes? So it will only hit thrice and will not launch forward, okay? So again, with Haki, the damage, I think you will reach 7,000 plus here. We didn't hit the third one. So next up, we got the Z skill. This one's really good, the Typhoon Toss. Boom! Not bad. Okay, one more time, guys. Also, this is quite... Uh, has quite the range so mid to long range i'm gonna show it to you there you go first you can uh pull him towards you and throw it away or far away there you go see that that's the other one the range there you go guys if you have other ways on using this one please comment it in the comment section next up is the armor breaker there you go it's the armor breaker guys i don't know if this has effect like uh decreased damage of the enemy etc again i am not yet aware of this one I'll be updating you on that. So guys, again, one more armor breaker. There you go. So, if you're a PvP player, now you're using, how can I think of other ways to use this weapon? So, what I thought about is when you use the Typhoon Toss, right? Typhoon Toss, it's almost the same with the Eclo, right? Your enemy will bounce upward. So, guys, what you can do is that one, X skill Z, and there you go, the portal, right? And if you can also use the C skill of the death step after. So again, let me repeat it. You can start with Portal X and there you go. X and Z skill of 
the shark anchor there you go and you can use z skill of your portal plus your additional combo right okay guys so i think that's it for this video again good luck on unlocking the shark anchor again to all the viewers subscriber supporters i really appreciate you all see you on my video on unlocking the new fight style this is gamer gamer out